The movie Wonder Woman had a huge opening at the box office this weekend. It became the first female-led superhero blockbuster ever. But people have differing opinions about the praise the film has received. To make sure you get to see the issues from both sides, we've invited two of our writers with contrasting points of view. We'll examine their opinions in a segment we call Point Counterpoint. Ali and Amber, thank you for being here to discuss this film. First question. Wonder Woman grossed over $100 million this weekend. Is this a definitive triumph for women in film, Ali? It absolutely is. But let's not pat ourselves on the backs just because Hollywood made one blockbuster movie with a female protagonist. Women only account for 32% of all speaking roles in movies. A real triumph would be to be bringing that ratio to half and half. Half and half. Amber? Half and half is delicious. Have you ever had it? It's like if milk and ice cream had a very yummy baby. You can put half and half in your coffee, or you can just put sprinkles in it and drink it straight and have a party in your mouth. Wait, what? Moving on. Wonder Woman is the first successful superhero movie directed by a woman. Do you think this will encourage studios to put more women behind the camera? Allie. I certainly hope so. Right now, only 7% of Hollywood directors are women. But I will say the true glass ceiling will be broken when studios give female directors big budgets even after they have a box office flop, just like they do with male directors. There's still a lot of work to be done to achieve equality in our nation's film canon. Strong words, Amber. I think canons are great, <laughs> especially when they're filled with confetti. One time, I jumped out from behind my grandma's couch and shot off a confetti cannon in the whole room's filled with tiny sparkles, and she fainted. <laughs> and then when she came to, she whispered, that was fun. <laughs> Your grandma sounds like a great lady. She is. Hey, Nana. <laughs> Seth, she's talking about confetti when the topic is Wonder Woman. These are things I wonder as a woman. <laughs> you know what else I wonder? Could I do a Daryl Hall impression? You're a rich girl, and you're going too far, but you know it don't matter anyway. I can. You can. <laughs> I thought he was right here. That was amazing. <laughs> Next up. Also breaking records this year, the movie Get Out, which had a black lead and a black director. Could this lead to more films for underserved audiences? Allie. Seth, every time a demographic that isn't white male in 18 to 34 comes out to support something, corporate America is shocked. Why? We have jobs, we make money, and we spend that money. The fact that minorities are a powerful economic force shouldn't be a surprise. Well said. Amber? You know what's a surprise? This! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Amber! No. <laughs> Just real quick, let's step out of the scene for a minute and talk, talk about how long we rehearsed this today. Just a button. <laughs> I just accidentally <laughs> shot it right every other time. <laughs> oh. All right. The point is, Amber shooting herself with a confetti cannon is off topic. <laughs> it has nothing to do with what we were talking about. Ellie, this isn't point point. <laughs> it's point counterpoint, okay, Ellie? You get a point, and then Amber gets a point. That's how it works, Allie. Fine. Did we get it all? <laughs> yes. You look beautiful. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wonder Woman has been a big hit with critics, but why do you think it's resonating with audiences? You know, you know what, Seth? I have an answer for that, but I won't waste my time because I'm sure Amber has something ridiculous to say or do, don't you? Actually, I don't. I saw Wonder Woman this weekend, and when I saw it, I cried. It resonated with me because I was so moved by seeing a strong, powerful woman represented on screen. <laughs> it's impossible to put into words. <laughs> What 
<laughs> that movie meant to women, or how much that movie can change the lives of young girls. Wow, Amber, that... <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Beautifully delivered. <laughs> That was. That was truly beautiful. <laughs> that was so much more beautiful than anything Ali has said or done. Okay, okay. I also think what's equally important is. <laughs> Amber, stop doing that. That's rude. You're right. Where are my manners? Oh, thank you. All right. Yay! That was fun. Uh, this has been Boy <laughs> Counterpoint. We'll be right back with Courtney Love. <laughs>